Hi, Adam here. I thought I'd do my best and worst movies for 2018. The year's almost over. I'll be over tomorrow. First off, here's a couple of honourable mentions. I'm going to say Bumblebee, which was actually a fun Transformers film. And it was actually pretty good for a change. Also, Boar, which was a pretty fun Australian horror film about, well, a giant boar. There's a lot of pretty good Australian humour in it. Uh, they didn't make my top 10, but I enjoyed them both. But, okay, so I thought I'd start with the best. Of course, this is just my personal opinion. As usual, feel free to disagree. Okay, at number 10, I'm putting Solo, A Star Wars Story. I know this movie got a lot of hate, but I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. But it's just too bad we won't be getting a sequel to that. Uh, it's just... A decent entry, I know a lot of people have pretty much gone off Star Wars, but I still like it. And I didn't think, this may shock people, I didn't think The Last Jedi was that bad either. Uh, number nine, Creed 2, a pretty solid follow-up to the original Creed. Yep, so Creed 2. Number eight, uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, the sixth entry. And for a sixth entry, it was pretty entertaining. There were some great action scenes. And I know not everybody likes Tom Cruise, but... I think he's great in as Ethan Hunt. Number seven, uh, Ready Player One. Kind of made him a sucker because it plays a bit on nostalgia and video games and all that kind of thing. But Steven Spielberg's one of my favourite directors. So yeah, Ready Player One at number seven. Number six, Deadpool 2. Another pretty solid follow-up to the original. I thought it was actually better. It, it improved on what they did with the first one. Uh, Halloween 2018, as you have to call it, which I thought was a pretty good, I guess, legacy sequel. Be interesting to see if they do legacy sequels to some other horror classics, or if they actually do a sequel to this one, and I always wonder what are they gonna call it? Are they gonna call it Halloween 2? Uh, yeah, very good. I know some people had a problem with, I'm not gonna say what it is, just in case you haven't seen it, the twist with a certain character, but, Halloween has had worse twists. <laughs> Number four, Bohemian Rhapsody. I really enjoyed this. This movie was a lot of fun, also a bit sad at times. Thing is, I'm not a big fan of biography pictures, but I do like Queen, and this was a very good, very good movie, actually. And Rami Malek's performance as Freddie Mercury, he just, the way he covered his, or mimicked uh, Freddie Mercury's movements I guess you could say it was excellent and number three Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse that was excellent it's the animated Spider-Man it's funny and there's a really well told story and the way it mixes the different styles of uh, animation it's just so good it, it, it's a type of movie that can appeal to everyone because it also kind of parodies what happens in superhero movies a little bit too uh, okay Number two, A Quiet Place. Shows you don't need to use a huge amount of dialogue to tell a great story. And the direction by John Krasinski. And the acting by his wife, Emily Blunt. Excellent. Even though they don't have much dialogue, it works real well. And at number one, okay, I'm putting Avengers Infinity War. Look, I'm, I'm a sucker for a big, you know, superhero film. And this is pretty much one of the biggest... No, Chris complained how there wasn't much character development in Avengers Infinity War, but there was 18 movies before it to catch up. And it was just some pretty decent action and some pretty decent comedies. So that's my list for the best of 2018. Like I said, this is just my personal opinion. And now onto the worst. Uh, so far, I could only think of four. I'm sure there's more. I've probably forgotten about or suppressed it because I'm that bad. But... And one, two, three, yeah, only four. First off, I'm starting with Robin Hood. Look, I have nothing wrong with trying to update a classic character, but here's a problem. It looks like they're trying to start a franchise. And sometimes I think maybe you should just worry about making your own standalone movie and then worry about the franchise. Truth or Dare. There was an interesting premise there. Just not well executed. 
I mean, it could have worked. It's kind of like, you know, trying to take elements from Final Destination, I guess, and kind of like a cursed game of truth or dare. If you don't do the truth or dare, you end up dying. It was just, it's pretty bad. Number two, uh, Happy Time Murders. That was awful. And the, it's another one with a fun kind of concept. We're Muppet type characters, actually living, breathing type things, and to see the type of debauchery and things they get up to when they're not on camera, it could have been fun. But the thing is, I forgot to make it funny. That's a problem. And at number one, and I'm sure a lot of people might agree with this, is Slender Man. And the problem with that is there was so much potential, there's so much lore and myth to pick up, especially from the creepy pastors. But what they did, they basically ripped off the ring, kind of modernised it by making them look at a viral video. But man, it was awful. Um, yeah, I mean, Slender Man, the movie sucks. Okay, so that's just my best and worst lists of 2018. Uh, as I always say, this is just my opinion feel free to disagree. And all the best for the new year. I'll see you in 2019.